Hi there and welcome to my studio. Today I'd like to take you through my own personal review of the Roland Go Piano. A while back I was looking for a very portable and very quick to set up keyboard that I could literally put under my arm and take off to an unplugged rehearsal with one of the bands that I work with. What I found attractive about the Go Piano was a that it had the Roland brand, which I always tend to trust. Um, B, it was very light, can work on batteries if necessary, and it has very decent sounding built in speakers. It's portable, it's compact, it's light, and I, I believe it'll sound good enough for the purpose. The keyboard is velocity sensitive, the action, not fantastic, but then again, you cannot compare this to a keyboard with good action. It comes in at probably 10 times the price. We need to understand that a good hammer action keyboard is an expensive piece of mechanics. So I wasn't expecting that. And frankly, it's good enough for the purpose that I have in mind for it. The Go Piano comes with four groups of sounds comprising of about um, eight piano type sounds about seven electric piano and other keyboard type sounds, seven organ related sounds, and then 16 general synthesizer drum sounds. And I'll go through some of those in a moment. When I've gone through the sound, I'll then use my digital audio workstation to multi-track a whole song arrangement using just the sounds of the Go Piano to give you an idea of the, the full sonic range of the machine. So here goes. So as the name says, the Go Piano is intrinsically an entry-level portable electric piano. It's not a synthesizer, it's not a workstation. As I said, it comes with about eight piano sounds. Here's the first one. Number two, called Bright Grand. Number three, called European um, warmer, softer sound. My favourite is a thing called Go Piano 2. It's kind of got a warmth that I like. Concert Grand. And then some layered sounds, uh, piano and strings layered together. And the piano and pad. Chord. Second group is electric pianos, vintage EP. Roland's always good with their phaser electric pianos. Um, Piano. The Wurlitzer piano. FM piano, obviously trying to emulate the old Yamaha DX7. Not that convincing. D50 Fantasia. Then 
the organs, a full drawbar organ. Slow Leslie rotating speaker. And one of the fast one. And then there's your general other bunch of sounds from the, the typical Roland jazz get. <laughs> Strings. Violin solo. Look at cheesy that. Flute. What one did you expect? Trombone. It's usable. Nylon string guitar. Finger bass, acoustic bass. A drum kit. Okay, so just as a disclaimer and as to clarify, I'm going to record multiple tracks using sounds from the Go Piano onto my digital audio workstation. I'm not going to be using the MIDI recording facility. I'm not going to be sequencing. I'm going to record each track as live audio. So there's no quantizing or editing going to happen. It's just the, the, the sounds of the machine layered together to form the different parts of the music. The reason I'm doing that is I'm not trying to push the multi-timbral facility of the machine or the polyphony of the machine. So each recording is a live audio recording. There's no MIDI recording and the keyboard is only doing one of these things at a time. It's not doing it all at once, just to clarify. This is not a workstation. Okay, so first up I'm going to lay down a chord track using the Phase EP sound. I really enjoy the Roland Phase EP sound. So we're just basically laying a basic chord pattern down to start with. Then secondly, I put some drums down. There's only one drum kit to choose from. sound and I decided to go with the acoustic bass in this case. At that point I add the main lead instrument and I decided to go with the Go Grand 2. Then I decided to go with a flute just to put some texture into it and I literally just added some So I basically created the song using those sounds. All I did was I panned the strings slightly to the left, the flute slightly to the right I used the reverbs built in, no other effects, and then I just did a bit of balancing, I turned the drums up, the electric piano down, etc, etc, and I mix it, and here we get the result. Mm -hmm. 